The Greens, of course, support the referendum. I spoke with Leader Adam Bant earlier, including on whether he was confident the PM is carrying this debate well. Adam Bant, thanks for your time. So we've got a date for the Voice referendum. How confident are you that the Prime Minister can help deliver a yes vote, obviously nationally and also in a majority of states? Well, I think you're going to see a lot of people right across the country um, from very different walks of life all campaigning for a yes vote. I was out uh, campaigning for yes at the train station on the day of the announcement together with uh, Bill Shorten. You've seen uh, former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull come together with independent MPs and Labor MPs. I think you're going to see a broad push of people campaigning right across the country for yes. But I think one of the, the important things is that this is not about politicians. Uh, this is about changing our constitution to take an important step towards First Nations justice. And I think now that we've got a date, uh, you'll see the community campaign in particular really rev up. I know it's um, revving up here in my electorate and I think it'll start to be taken out of the hands of uh, politicians and put in the hands of the community. And I think that uh, is going to be uh, uh, the key to a, a good campaign and I'll be campaigning hard for yes. It is on a knife edge at best that the, the, the favourite, if you look at the pollsters, would be the no side. If it does fail, would your party, would you and your party push the legislative voice, even though it wouldn't be in the Constitution, it would just be up to the Parliament of the day? Look, there's obviously we'd have to look at what happens the day after the referendum. And as I say, certainly my energy at the moment is going to be put into ensuring that we get a successful outcome. Uh, one of the reasons I think we, we really do need the referendum to succeed is that um, so many other uh, uh, changes that we know that are going to be needed to ensure that we have full justice for First Nations people in this country will be harder to achieve if uh, we get a negative result. So, um, But in terms of what happens afterwards, I think that has to be judged on the day afterwards. Now it's a matter of putting all shoulders to the wheel to ensure that mm. we get a yes vote. Well, when you say judge on the day afterwards, though, do you mean if it's, if it's really close and it's in a majority national vote, you'd, you'd feel justified about trying to legislate one, but if it's, if it's not so close and it's no, it might be harder to have that acceptance? Oh, no, that's, that's not what I'm uh, saying. I'm not thinking about okay. what legislation might have to hit the parliament or not or what other steps might be taken. Um, not uh, thinking about that. I think uh, the, we've got a referendum and it's a significant thing to change the constitution and it requires um, concerted campaigning and focusing on that and that alone and that's what we're going to be focused on.